Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge. And on today's video, I'm talking about pantry organization. Now, if you've been around here for a while, you'll already know that I have kind of a large family. And when I go grocery shopping, I like to buy things in bulk. This not only saves me time, but it also saves me money as well, usually. But what you probably don't know is that in my tiny kitchen, I actually don't have a dedicated pantry. So I had to get kind of creative when it comes to where I store my food. So today I'm so excited to share that with you. And I think these tips will work whether you have a big pantry or a small pantry. And you guys, it's totally budget friendly because all of these products, well, almost all of these products came from the Dollar Tree. I can't wait to share it with you, so stay tuned. Now two things before we get started. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And this video is actually part of a collab with the very talented Emily over at Mama From Scratch. You guys definitely should check out her channel. She does hauls, DIYs, crafts, organization, and cleaning, all that kind of stuff. So if you like those types of videos, definitely check out her channel. She's also gonna be sharing her pantry organization ideas as well. And I will put links down below so you can check it out when you're done here. So let's get started. So like I said, in my kitchen, I don't have a nice, big, dedicated pantry. So I had to get creative. Over in this cabinet that you can't see right here, I have all of my spices. And I have a teeny tiny, very narrow cabinet over there where I keep all of my flour and sugar and my baking goods. But the bulk of my pantry items go right here. I know I've stood in this spot for many videos, but I've never shared with you guys what's behind me, and that is my pantry. So I'm gonna go ahead and start there, and then I'll show you the other place in my house where I store most of our pantry items. Okay guys, so out of all of my cabinets in my kitchen, this one is definitely the deepest and the tallest. So I've chosen to use it as my sort of makeshift pantry. Okay, now to give you a closer look. Now because this cabinet's pretty small, I'm only keeping my day-to-day -day essentials in here. Things like breakfast and vitamins and cooking oils. Things that I use all the time. And then everything else, as long as it's unopened, I actually store in our converted garage. So I will definitely show you that later. So before we dive into the cabinet, I'll go ahead and show you my little door organization here. I feel like when you have a limited space, it's important to use every square inch. And the back of the cabinet door is actually really good for vertical storage. And I really like this system because I didn't have to put any holes in the door at all. I picked up these little white containers from the Dollar Tree, and then I've just used two command hooks, which are also from the Dollar Tree, to just hang these right on there. So in this one I have drink mixes, then I have straws, and then way up here, I have all of my vitamin C packages. So you just want to remember if you're using this system not to put anything super heavy. And also you want to make sure that you have clearance. So when you close the door, you can see I don't have anything right here. So when I close the door, it doesn't hit anything. Just like that. Before I started on this reorganization project, the first thing I did was actually take everything out. I made sure nothing was expired, and I got rid of anything that was too old. Then I went to the Dollar Tree, and I picked up just one or two bins. I brought them home and made sure they were gonna fit before I bought any more. And as you can see, I kind of have the same layout for each shelf. I feel like that really helps make it look organized. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this bottom shelf. I'll show you what I have in here, and then we'll work our way up and then I'll move on to the garage. The things on this first shelf are things that we use all the time. So in this basket, I have our breakfast items. Things like cereal and oatmeal, granola, they go in here so you can quickly grab them in the morning. And what I really like about these plastic bins is that you can actually slide everything out and I can put it on the counter and easily slide it back when we're done. And then I love these half gallon sized mason jars. I love that you can see what's inside and they're relatively inexpensive. So this one has oatmeal 
And then this one has pretzels. Now this shelf is really deep, so in the way back I have another basket, and it's actually resting on top of a plate shelf. And I really like the tiered system, that way, even when this basket is still in front, I can easily reach the basket right here. In here I have all of our tea storage. So here's a closer look inside my little tea basket here, and what I've done is take a larger basket from the Dollar Tree and I've used several of these smaller baskets to group the teas together by type. That way I can easily grab whatever tea I feel like having. Now what I really like about this little plate stand is that in this little bottom area, I can actually hide things like candy. On our second shelf, I basically have the same layout. In this basket, I have my vitamins and supplements. Way back there in that basket, I have my husband's vitamins and supplements. And then down here, we have vitamin C, some hot cocoa, and then our nuts. This one has almonds, and this one has cashews. Now, I've actually lined each shelf with some contact paper that I got at the Dollar Tree. And this makes it really nice and easy to just wipe it off if anything spills. And then on our very top shelf, I have a basket with oils and vinegars. Now the rest of the food items I actually store in the garage. But this isn't actually your typical garage. We don't park our cars in here at all. Our garage has been converted into extra living space, storage space, and my husband's home office. This shelf we actually got for free off the side of the road. I took $3 worth of spray paint and my husband cut $10 worth of plywood to create an awesome new place to store our unopened food. You can definitely save some money if you're willing to do the work. We put this new shelf right next to our rotating food storage system. One of the shelves keeps the regular size cans that we use on a regular basis and the other one holds number 10 cans that are part of our food storage. We like to keep at least three months of food on hand in case of emergencies or natural disasters. On this shelf, I've organized like items together. At the top, I have things that are not very heavy, like pasta and oats. On our next shelf, I have baskets for breakfast items, lunch items, and condiments. In the middle section, I have items we access most frequently and snack bins that the kids can reach themselves with permission. I especially love the little stacking snack bins. They are the perfect way to take advantage of vertical space on the shelf. On the next shelf, I have square bins for sauces, rice, and pasta. And on the very bottom, I have heavier items like drinks, and vinegar, and some miscellaneous items as well. Now my labels I actually found at the Dollar Tree. I used my label maker to print out each basket's contents, and then I just stuck it right on the top. So all of these bins came from the Dollar Tree, except for these larger two on the very top. These I actually found at Walmart several years ago. In one of them, I keep my seasonal baking items, and the other keeps Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, and extra saran wrap. And I think that is everything. All right, and there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, could you please give it a big thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also, don't forget to go on over to Emily's channel and check out her tips for pantry organization. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.